looking at developments in the banking uh, arena specifically, we've seen the Central Bank of Nigeria forward the advanced copy of the audit report on the 14 remaining banks uh, within the presidency. This is, of course, a step ahead of full disclosure. Surely, uh, the market to a large degree has priced in the worst, though. So why the pressure that we're seeing on the markets right now? Uh, good morning, Alicia. Uh, like you said, um, the CBN governor has to uh, defend uh, its position its position before the uh, House yesterday, uh, yesterday concerning um, the results of these other uh, 14 banks that, uh, uh, that is most awaited in the market. Uh, given that there has been so much of um, uh, speculations and, and rumor about um, what the market should expect, and people are quite uncertain about the fate of these other 14 banks. Uh, you should expect uh, normally that um, investors we uh, we react to such um, rumor because uh, this uh, market is highly information driven. Uh, not until we have the results, perhaps um, early next week, as promised by CBN Governor, uh, this reaction will continue to uh, come up uh, in the market. Well, business leaders and industry watchers at this stage are demanding clear and transparent results, uh, a, a clear and transparent results sheet with the details on the status of each bank to be fully disclosed here. Do you see this coming to the fore to quell some of the anxiety and uncertainty that's out there, uh, with the central bank possibly having learned lessons from their first uh, release of audit results? Um. You know, when, when CBN uh, came up with the, the announcement on the August uh, 14th about the, uh, the 10 banks that were uh, first audited, they did not um, give so much of specifics about each of the bank. And um, we wouldn't expect perhaps um, them to do, to do that with these uh, 14 other banks that, uh, uh, that, have been, uh, that, that are currently going through the, the audits. Uh, like uh, CBN governor said at some point uh, that we shouldn't expect any uh, surprise uh, from from the market because they have dealt with actually the major uh, systemic uh, uh, risk or threat to, to the banking sector. So in terms of the full disclosure and specifics about each of this bank, uh, we may not, um, uh, it's, of course, it should be encouraged. We, uh, CBN should come up with details, really. And that will give some perspective to how actually each of these banks actually do not giving a, a general view or uh, some, um, some kind of um, uh, view about the, the bank's issues or problems so that people could actually have uh, a, a clearer picture of what um, this bank's position. So it, it, it should be encouraged that um, CBN should come up with a full disclosure, a, a, I mean a full detailed uh, um, um, outcome of these audit uh, results. Well, uh, let's take a look at what the banks themselves are doing in this context. I mean, just yesterday we were talking about how there's been this increased credit appetite in the market. Are banks, especially those uh, declared healthy, lending as easily, though? Please, guy, come again, please. Are banks lending as easily, even those who have been declared healthy, in a context where we've seen this rising demand for credit uh, in the Nigerian market? Um, you know, most banks, are, 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 I mean, currently are quite cautious about them. Excuse me, I can't hear you. Adewale, just looking at banks and how they're currently operating in this, uh, this context that you've just highlighted, are banks lending as easily when we've got credit demand uh, sitting at extreme highs at the moment? Yeah, like I, I was saying, most banks seem to be very cautious in terms of um, uh, lending, even though um, lending, sh of course, should be their primary, that is supporting the, the, the broader economy with credit should be their primary assignment as, 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 as banks. Um, but given the, all the scenarios that is playing out in, in the market, and of course, um, there, there seems to be some tight liquidity uh, also in the system, uh, which has actually um, uh, I mean, affect the, the, the flow of credit, the, how banks are, are giving out uh, loans in recent time. And um, secondly, because uh, most, of the, most of these uh, banks' uh, prospective clients, uh, they don't have so much information uh, about them, uh, uh, adequate and correct information. So it has really 
uh, affects, of course, the, the lending uh, uh, flow, I mean, to the economy. Well, there's recently been a bit of talk about the establishment of a credit bureau to actually boost lending. Uh, what developments are we seeing on that front? Uh, Alicia, this is really, a, in our view, a great development for the financial uh, industry in Nigeria, uh, given that um, one, one of the challenges um, uh, facing by lending institutions in, in, in this part of the world has been uh, lack of um, adequate and correct information about, um, about their customers, which uh, uh, are partly responsible for high, um, high rates of default that we have seen in the industry in, in recent times. Uh, uh, CBN has approved, um, has given lances uh, rather to two of these credit bureau, uh, bureau firms, that is um, uh, um, XDX uh, uh, Credit Bureau and, um, uh, and uh, what was it called, um, uh, the, the other firm. Why credit registry uh, as, uh, await the lances by CBN? We believe that this will help uh, stimulate uh, wider lending to the broader economy by the banks as they engage the services of these uh, credit bureau firms. Uh, and, and secondly, if, uh, if you could recall that um, uh, most of the issues that we have are about uh, recovery of these loans even is, is about the customer's information, how correct they are and, and, and all of that. So with coming on board of this credit bureau, which are primarily going to be tracking the data uh, about the customers, about uh, people that want to access loans from these banks, but we have seen situations whereby some customers had some bad loans yeah. in a particular bank and still jump at another bank to, to assess funds. And if the banks, banks and other side have no information about this customer requires, we go ahead and, and still advance credit. So if we have credit bureaus operating in this, part of, in this country and banks take advantage of their services, I think they should be able to have a better uh, lending decisions to make on, 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 I mean, going forward.